Hey what's up guys myself so Prince Rasto and welcome back to your YouTube channel so guys today in this video i'm going to show you how can you run the windows operating system on your android phone with the fastest speed possible so previously i shown you how you can do this by using the limbo pc limiter and today's video i have a different method so you will get a faster speed in comparison to the limbo limiter so there will be a faster booting process so you will not need to wait uh, 15 to 20 minutes for booting and also you will get a clear or stock experience of the windows operating system on your android phone so i did not did any modif modification in the windows image that i am going to provide you so you will get a same experience same appearance that you are normally used on your computer or laptop so there will not any change in the look or experience uh, or appearance or any change in the setting so you will get a strong stock window operating system on your android phone so there will not any modification or change in this image file so I created this image file uh, by using the QMA manager in my PC. So I will put down a link of this image file in the description so you can download it from there. So the size of the image file is very small. You can see here that it has almost 1.5 GB. So you simply need to download it. And in today's video, I'm going to use another BOSS emitter. So I already shown you how you can use the BOSS emitter to run the Windows operating system on the Android phone. But that uh, version of the BOSS emitter was older one. So today I have the latest version of the BOSS emitter. So this emitter has the fastest speed in comparison to the Limbo emitter or the older version of the BOSS emitter. So I hope you will like this. So here you can see this is the image file. It has the 1.46 GB in size. So you have to download this image file. I put down the link in the description so you can download it. And you also uh, get the BOSS emitter in the description link. So you can also download a BOSS emitter from there. And also you can download from the Play Store. So to download it from the Play Store, you simply need to go to your Play Store. Here you can see. Uh, sorry. Here you can see. And search here BOSS. And the first option, that uh, the first app that you will see here, that is uh, BOSS. You have simply need to download and install this app. So when this process will complete, so simply need to uh, close all the background apps to clear more RAMs. And just go and just uh, boost your Android device. If you have that option and just simply click on the BOSS app and you will see there are a lot of options that you will not uh, normally get in your uh, limbo emulator here you can see you have the firstly in storage you have option to attach to floppy disks so you can also do this by uh, selecting here and here also I have, have the option of boot menu so you can choose from where you want to boot from the uh, hard disk or by using the CD-ROM or by using the floppy so here I am going to use the image file so simply click here I will I will have to click here and you also have to click here and just cl click on the here and check it and click on the select and just go to the directory where you put down the uh, image file that I given in the description so download it firstly and just uh, slide down and show where you put it that so simply need to go to the directory where you put it so you can see this is a c.image so let me select it and here you can see when you go to the hardware option you have a lot of options that you will not get in the in limbo emulator so let's select the uh, CPU model so when you slide down here you see the core i7 has well 4770 so it has the so many options here you can see you have to a lot of things to select in the uh, CPU model and in the limbo emitter you already seen that there are not a lot of options so in this uh, uh, latest version of the BOSS emitter you have the latest uh, so many options here you can see and when you uh, click here you will here you can see you have the cheapest option uh, you have the 143 uh, sorry i430 uh, fx or i440 fx and in here you can see you can also attach the pci slot so here you can see let's select here and select anyone or if you're not interested you can simply click on the none and here you can see this is the memory uh, it means the ram so i just given it 1 gb ram here you can see it cannot be exceeded more so it's a lot for this uh, BOSS emitter and here you can see this is the VGA card and here are a lot of options like uh, VBE, PCI VGM or Cirrus 5430 or Cirrus 5446 so you can select anyone from there and here is the sound card you can also select anyone from here or here is the Ethernet card you can select anyone from here so uh, let me go to here here you can see there is the ROM image so you can uh, select here and uh, select the lat uh, latest one here you can see this is the BIOS BOSS latest so here you can see this is the full screen option so you can also check here or uncheck here and according to your uh, requirement and here you can see the VG update frequency you just need to select here to 13 and the clock should be selected to the none so you can also change the setting and play with uh, the setting and uh, find a, a better option for your Android device so I selected the best option that I found in my Android device. So you can also follow the my steps and hopefully you will get a faster speed 
on your android phone and if you don't get the faster speed on your android phone you can change the setting from here or here and change according to your phone and i hope you will find a uh, best setting for your android phone so you can see i selected all the things here and let me select the boot to the disk and here you can see there is the start option here you can see the header uh, top of the right and just simply need to click on the start or one more thing guys here you can see there is a sign of the download so when you click on here you will see there is already an embedded uh, link for the um, mu linux or free dos or tiny core linux or puppy linux so these are the uh, this image file so if you are interested to run this uh, this force uh, operating system you can directly download it from here so if you are not interested you can simply need to click on the cancel and select all the setting and select the image file that you want to run so i provided the c.image file so this image file has the windows operating system in it so you can download it from the description so when all the process will complete all the setting will be complete simply need to click on the start so you will find that this uh, uh, Im this operating system will run in the full screen model so you can see uh, it's booting up so it will take some time as this is the windows operating system and you are running in on the android phone so it you can see it's taking some time so you have to wait so i created this image file by using the qma manager on my pc so you can also do this but uh, you have to create a uh, blank disk and for that purpose you can download the bo simulator uh, for the pc so there we will get the disk image creation tool so for uh, for use, by using that disk image creation tool you can create a blank disk and by using the qma uh, manager you can install any windows operating system on that blank disk so if you are interested how can you do this you can just comment on below i will tell you there so there are so many things that you will need to do before running the windows 10 on android phone so still uh, there are so many steps that we have to take on your android phone to get the windows 10 uh, to run with the smoothest speed so i already shown how you can you done the uh, windows 10 on android phone so if you are interested you can check it out on my channel so there are too, too many ways to run the windows operating system on the android phone so there is a limbo emulator there is a boss emulator and there is also uh, by using the uh, kvm kernel so you can also flash the kvm kernel on android phone so you will get a faster speed in comparison to both of the boss emulator or limbo emulator so you can see this is booting up so the latest update of the boss emulator has changed so many things but in the latest update boss did a very smart work they added a gra graphical user interface and now anyone can just uh, uh, change the setting from there and find the right uh, setting for their Android phone. One more thing, guys, that this will boot the Windows operating system in the full screen mode. So there is not any uh, le uh, cutting from the left to right side. So you will get a full screen mode. So it's also uh, better in comparison to Limbo emulator in this aspect. So you can see it's booting up. So you can see it's showing the Windows is starting up. So it will take some time because it is in a windows operating system on android phone and it is not designed to run on android phone but uh, some of the engineers or software engineers worked very hard to get this on android phone and i hope so that in the future you will get a faster speed of the windows on android phone and if you did not subscribe to our youtube channel please subscribe because in the future maybe i show how can you run the windows 10 on android phone by using same uh, same other methods so you have uh, you should subscribe our channel because you will get a latest update on this topic uh, I am working on the how to get the Windows 10. So I already shown you how can you do this uh, uh, Windows up, uh, Windows 10 on Android phone. But in the, uh, in that video you will have to get an Intel pro, uh, power device. So if you don't have a Intel uh, Intel power device, you can't get the Windows 10 on Android phone. According to my the previous video, but I am working on those who don't have the window, Intel power Android device. So if I found any way to run the in, uh, Windows 10 on any Android phone without having the Intel processor. Uh, I will uh, surely uh, upload a video on this topic. So you can see it's uh, welcome here. It's showing welcome. So it's booting up. So you can see it's booting up. And in the upper side, you can see here showing the all the options that you selected here you can see there is not any floppy disk so it has been crossed and there is not any second floppy disk it has been crossed there is not any cd inserted so it has been crossed and for the mouse option you can see you are using the mouse so it's, it's not been cut and for the user you can see so if you are no, want to use the keyboard here is the 
you can see this is the option when you click on this here you can see you will get a keyboard and here you will see the copy post option is also available and snapshot you can use your smartphone camera for the uh, camera purpose also and here you can see so many options present here and it's and at the, at the down here you can see it's showing the HD or the hard disk is in the use right now so now let's go to the start here you can see uh, let me click here so you can see I have the Windows Movie Maker files and setting transfer wizard tour window XP Windows Media Player my documents my recent document my pictures my music my computer all the same options that you get normally on your PC so if you wait some more time you will get a blue color start menu here you can see so you will also get a blue color start menu uh, it's taking some time in booting up so there are more options that you uh, you have to wait to complete let me open the my computer so wait it's booting up yeah let me open this you can see there is not any change in the look or appearance so you will get the same windows experience that you normally uh, get on your pc or laptop so here you can see here you have local disk c and shared folder and here is the shopping master documents and here you can see there are so many things control panel change or setting view or information add or remove program so there are so many things you can get here So guys if you uh, if you complete all your experience with the windows so you simply need to click on the turn off computer and your uh, windows operating system will be shut down. So that's all guys in this video and I hope you will like it. So if you have any question just comment on below and if you need to download uh, these two files so just go to the description you will find a link for uh, those two files and just download it and just do the same thing that I did in the, this video. And if you are not getting the faster speed you just simply need to change some setting in the BOSS inventor because uh, my android phone has the intel powered android device and it also have a 4 gb of ram but maybe your android device has uh, will be running on the qualcomm snapdragon process or mediatek processor so you just simply need to change some setting in the bose app i hope you will get the best setting for your android device so that's all guys in this video and i hope you will like it and many of you just asking for how can you just close this uh, windows so in the previous video i seen that many of you asking how can you just change uh, your android device back so you can see if you are running it and if you want to go back to your android device just simply need to click on the home button you can see i am back to my android device so i did not change anything in the android device it's simply dual boot of the android device and the windows operating system so you can see it's running in the background so you can also uh, use your whatsapp or facebook and in the background you also have a windows operating system that is running in the background here you can see everything is working fine so just simply need to click on the home button and all things will be closed and if you want to close it just simply need to click here and just slide down and click on the stop so now the boss inventor has been stopped and there is not any uh, windows operating system that is running background so that's all guys in this video and uh, i hope you like it and if you like please don't forget to click on the like button if you have any questions please comment down below and if you did not subscribe to our youtube channel please please subscribe right now so have a good day good luck bye take care